Okay, we're here with uh, Rapid Robert, Robert Young, my roommate, not Bill's roommate. Robert, what do you think about Bill being president of the United States? Actually, Bill was my roommate, Kerry, for two years, oh, and, you and I retract me, the right? claim, yes. Okay, and uh, so is, uh, is there a cabinet position in here for you? Ambassador to Ireland. Ambassador to Ireland. The little elf, Robert Young. Okay, <laughs> and, and your, your next job is president of IBM, is that right? Well, I do remain the last employee, carry of IBM. The last yeah, employee yes, of IBM, yes. Robert Young. Folks, you have seen him first here on Dateline, Sarasota. This is uh, IBM's last employee, Robert Young. Robert, thank you. Thank you. Kerry? Okay, thank we you. will As see always. you in the boardroom. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, we're with Tom Campbell, the real roommate of Bill Clinton, the despite roommate. the official right. roommate. Four years, right? Four Tom? years, all four years. Okay, uh, you know, tell us your favorite story about Bill. Well, probably, the, you know, there's, there's several that stick in my mind. I don't know that I ever have any real favorite story of his. I suppose meeting him is the first one. Everybody wants to know about that. My, you know, the first story about meeting Bill Clinton when he came into the room with his mother, uh, who's an incredible personality, as people have learned to know her over this inauguration week and, you know, during the course of the campaign. They came in and he, and he stuck his hand out there and said, hey, I'm Bill Clinton. How are you? And I didn't know much about him. I was from the Northeast. I had seen the roster. We were roommates strictly by accident of the alphabet. The first, that, room, that floor on uh, Loyola Hall was Ashby's and Kaplan's and Campbell's and Clinton's, all A, B, C's and D's. And so it was strictly by the alphabet that we became roommates. And we hit it off from that first moment. And we've been friends from that day to this. Great, great. Uh, any any cabinet post for you, Tom? No cabinet you're, post. You're a pilot for U.S. Air. I work for U.S. Air. Uh, after we graduated from here, I went into the Marine Corps, uh, active duty for 10 years, and I'm a retired lieutenant colonel in the Marines. And you work with me on the yearbook. And I work with Carrie on the yearbook. As a matter of fact, this book has a lot of stuff. Why don't you just flash some of those pictures? Well, I'll camera. flash uh, some of the stuff through here. A lot of these were things that I pulled out of the uh, print room that didn't really make it into the yearbook. This is a picture that I had. It's a blow-up of an old Polaroid that shows Bill's desk. When we were in uh, freshman year, you can't quite read what he's got there, but a lot of memorabilia from Little Rock and Hot Springs. The important thing to notice on here is that clock. It's an old wind-up clock, and as everyone knows, he Bill is famous now for getting three or four hours of sleep and then coming home and maybe taking a 20-minute nap. Well, he set that bloody thing, and it clicked so loud, you can't believe the noise that this clock would make. And I'd come in the room, and he'd set that thing for 20 minutes, and he'd be laying on the bed sleeping, and I'd be trying to work. Or when I was trying to go to bed, he'd be up studying. That clock was... And knowing how cantankerous you were, you must have given him hell, didn't you, Tom? I, gave him, I said, yeah, that, that, I didn't give him hell, but I remember the clock. <laughs> okay, great. This is some other pictures, Bill, in freshman year with some guys. This is interesting. This is his his uh, platform when he ran for president of the freshman class. We had them printed up, but we did not have a signature Xeroxed on there, or, or in that time, uh, Mimeoed. He signed every one of these. We'd sit at a meal, we'd be go to the cafeteria, we'd bring a ream of paper, we'd be eating and talking, and Bill would be signing. It was important to him even then to have the personal touch, and he would sign every one of the platforms, and then we'd go up and slide them under people's doors and hand them out on the campus. But he'd, he would sign every one of them. Just some generic stuff. Pictures of early dances in October of 1965. Here we are in February 1966. Another indication of the network of friends that Bill's developed. Of the group, this group in St. Mary's dormitory in February of 65. Save one person. Everybody is in this room tonight. Since 1965. Great. And just some generic. Okay, great. Okay. Is that it? That's great, Tom. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. We look forward to eight years with Bill. Thanks, okay, Tom. Curry, you okay, bet. Okay. Thanks. We're with Cindy Sexton Lewis, right. who is also a classmate of Bill's, who is is our unofficial official <laughs> artist of the class of '68 of Bill. Right. And when did you do this, Cindy? I did that uh, this summer. This did, past summer. did you go out to Little Rock to do that? No, I didn't. I did it from a photograph of Bill stumping in New Hampshire uh, and uh, got the permission of the photographer, a Boston Globe photographer, Misha Irwitt. And uh, I, um, it's uh, Bill, I'm from New Hampshire, and I was there during the entire uh, 
primary campaign, and I thought uh, an action picture would be a good uh, portrait of Bill. Are you selling these? No. You're not? Okay. I mean, my paintings? Yes. Yes. Uh, is, is this in, in print form that anybody wants to call up and order can order it? Uh, I hadn't even thought about that. Okay. No. Okay. We're going to set up the business since we can't make money at Glad <laughs> TV. We're, we're, we're going to do it with Cindy, and uh, sure. and this is our official sure. portrait sure. painter. Sure. Okay. Thanks, okay. Cindy. Okay. Take care. Okay. P.B. McDonough, New Hampshire. For 12 years, you gave me hell as a Republican, and you were the great Democrat of New Hampshire, wanted me to support Dukakis. I never would. Now we are on the same side. What happened, P.B.? Well, what happened, actually, Terry, is that you didn't believe in Republicans jogging together. And, in fact, what happened is because of Bill Clinton, our classmates were all out jogging with him on uh, Tuesday morning after a great reception in here at Georgetown. Well, t well, t well tell us what happened. What, they, they called Bill over at the Blair House, and they said, Bill, we want to jog with you. They wouldn't put him through to Bill. Now, what happened, Peter? No, in fact, what happened is, uh, and, and I might, might add that you, you didn't get this with George Bush when he was in, in office. But what happened is that we saw, we saw Bill at the uh, diplomatic reception at Georgetown University on Monday, and we suggested just on the thought that, Bill, why don't we jog to you, with you tomorrow morning? And he said, that's a great idea. Why don't you call, and I think at her name, and set it up? And after about an hour and a half of calling, uh, eight of us arrived at Blair House at 6.30 in the morning. And, and I might add, had continental breakfast and then went out to jog. And of course, a couple of us, and I think probably you would have been in that company, managed to jog about a quarter of a mile and came back like Rosie Ruiz from the Boston Marathon <laughs> and met us at Blair House as we returned. Great, PB. Terrific. Okay, well, what is what is Clinton going to do for, for we Republicans in Sarasota in the next four years? Well, I'll tell you one thing. He's going to increase the Democratic res registration. Not in Sarasota. He's not, PB. We're, we're, we're going to vote for Clinton, but we're not going to vote for the rest of them. We, we've, done, we've done a tremendous job at getting uh, Republicans uh, cross-trained into Democratic politics. As Honorable Judge Crowley from uh, Kennebuck, Maine, was at all the Democratic festivities today, and, we, and they have him on the new on the list as a new registered Democrat. Okay, well, I'm sure your persistence uh, held held out here, PB. You got my you got yeah. my letter. Okay, well, okay, PB. <laughs> okay, we will see you on the links of Sarasota, and we'll get enough Republicans to beat you. If we can if we can get on if we can get him to get us on the links of, of Sarasota, we'll we'll brand him with a D on his forehead. No, I keep in the ER. Thank you. Thanks, PB. We do it out in the street, not in front no, of what, what do you mean? I have to think about what I'm going to say. I don't what, want to make a fool out of myself. You have to think of what you're going to say. You're a trial attorney. Okay, Kevin Haggerty, Houston, Texas trial attorney. What, what do you think about Clinton? I mean, he's you, great. He's you great. were in the quad with Clinton. What, what kind of guy? Quad. He was in the East Campus. The East Campus. Where yeah. were you on the East Campus? Yeah, the quads in the yeah, main no, but, campus. but in in Harbin, weren't you weren't you in the, in the same area with him freshman uh, year? Yeah. No, you don't. You don't really remember Clinton, do you, Haggerty? I never. Yeah, I know. I never. Heard of him. <laughs> the, I, no, the, the only time he remembered anybody was uh, the, the day after, and you said, Who was that? That's right. right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Are you having a good time, Kevin? Great time. Okay. Great time. Great time. So you're, you're going to move to Sarasota and you're going to become a trial attorney and you won't remember anyone's name. Is that right? Right. right. Okay, good. Okay. Great Thanks, interview. Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's this one? No? This is Dateline Sarasota. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Tell me, Vic, when we're ready to go. This is Dayline, Sarasota? Right. What are, they, what are they using this, for the local newspaper? Uh, local TV station. You got a piece of that? <laughs> no, I don't, Frank. This is Judge Francis X. Halligan, classmate of Bill Clinton's at Georgetown, whose motto was, don't let your academic life interfere with your college education. FX, what's, what's it like to have a classmate as the President of the United States? Uh, it's excellent. Very excellent. Very excellent. I wish him the best of luck. I know he's going to do a great job, and I hope we have uh, on our 25th reunion a part of it in the White House. Well, he's promised us that, isn't that right? And you, and you, though a judge couldn't really support him, so you sent your wife out to support him under the auspices that we'd have the party at the White House. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. Okay, and and so you, as a judge, will hold him to it since there is a separation between the judiciary and the uh, administrative branch, right? All right, and so and in addition there too, the uh, Department of Justice will advise him as to the contractual obligations once he.
makes a promise and other people feel that they have a right to rely upon it. And U.S. Attorney Dick Gregory will prosecute if, if he doesn't abide by it. As a former member of the strike force, I'm sure Dick would. Okay. Thanks, Frank. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for your support. We really need it thank to make you. sure we get the reunion at the White House. Very good. Okay. I'll look forward to it. Thanks, Evan. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> okay. Joe McGinnis, owner of Chadwick's. Now, Chadwick's is, is the hot spot where everybody likes to drink and eat when they come to Washington, D.C. Well, when are you getting the president there? Well, Kerry, it used to be the hot spot until you left town, all right? <laughs> and uh, uh, now that you're back in, we are rolling these days. Uh, the president has promised me he'll stop in, but we're waiting for you to come back to town before the president. Okay, now you're going <laughs> to give me a call in Sarasota when, when they tell you the president's going to be there, and we're going to have special reserve places for people in Sarasota, is that right? Well, no, what we're going to do is open a Chadwick stand in Sarasota. Okay, All great. Right? You're great. going to back us, we're going to be set to go. Okay, great show. <laughs> okay, see you later. Oh, here's, here's the judge. Welcome. Judge Here Crowley. Go. Here's Judge Crowley. Yes, sir. Judge Crowley, I yes, just sir. talked to FX Halligan, judge in New Jersey. Did you? And he said that if Clinton does not honor his obligation to us of having the reunion in the White House, that we're going to prosecute. Is that? I was afraid you were going to say we were going to have it in New Jersey. No. He's not a real judge in New Jersey. He's a municipal court judge. Oh, 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 great, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, now you're in Kennebunkport. That's right. I mean, in, in if, you, if you want to see a president, or at least somebody who used to be one, we'll have it in Kennebunkport. How's but, that? But I understand from P.B. McDonough that you have converted to a, to a Democrat. Well, before, before I was a Republican, I was a Hoya. Yes, but are you a Democrat now after all this? Oh, well, I've been neutered by my appointment. You have. Bulb. That's right. <laughs> so, so you, as, as a judge, you have no political affiliation None anymore. whatsoever. Okay. But I'm always a Hoya. Good. Great. Carrie. Okay. Thanks. Kid Ashby, the other real roommate of Bill Clinton's. Uh, you have you have known Bill and kept in touch with him all this time, Kit. What's your favorite story about Bill uh, in your years at Georgetown? There, there are a number. Um, one that, that I'll relate now is when during the Johnson administration, uh, Johnson had a uh, an assistant by the name of Jack Valenti, and uh, one day. Valenti made the comment that uh, he went to bed uh, a little more peacefully every night knowing that Lyndon Johnson was his president. And I remember uh, kidding Bill about that, that if he ever made it, I was going to say that about him. And uh, so I will say tonight that uh, I go to bed a little, uh, a little calmer tonight, knowing that uh, Bill Clinton is my president. Great kid. <laughs> okay. And you're living in Dallas now, is that right? No, no. I live in Westport, Connecticut. Westport, Connecticut. And what do you do? I work for Chemical Bank. Uh huh. I work at the United Nations. Um, I spent my most of my career overseas. Uh, followed the School of Foreign Service. And. Uh, <laughs> I'm a commuter. Are you looking for an appointment in the administration? No, I'm looking for a golf game, a lunch, um, a few telephone conversations. I'm a friend of Bill's, uh, not a, uh, I have a job, <laughs> and, uh, and so does and he. And you're pleased with it? Yeah, yeah great. very much. Great kid. I'm sure Bill appreciates having a friend like you. I hope. Yeah. I appreciate having a friend like him. Yeah. Great kid. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We ready? Yes, we're ready. Ray we rolling? Okay, Dick Hanley. Yes, sir. Okay, you you were one of the uh, earlier supporters of Bill and raised a lot of money for him in New York. And tell us what happened uh, when you had a big fundraiser for Bill in New York. Well, we January of uh, last year, on January 6th, we did the first fundraiser for uh, Bill in Manhattan. And before the fundraiser, I was sort of put up to this by another classmate by the name of Tim Chorba. And we, uh, Mr. Chorba is somewhat long-winded, as Mr. Clinton has been somewhat long-winded. So as I was sitting across from Bill at the table, I asked Bill if, in fact, it was okay if I read the two-hour introductory speech that uh, Tim had written for me. And uh, Bill sort of looked at me in a long drawl. He said, are you all Irish? And I said, yes. So the evening goes on. I proceed to introduce Bill. I make a lot of noise about the blue and gray unification of Georgetown. And then I introduce Mr. Clinton as the next president of the United States. 
and then he comes back and he says, I'd like to thank the next ambassador to Ireland. And, and, and so have you heard from him about your ambassadorial post? Well, I have not implied. Uh, that was not... Uh, it you was haven't a implied, but you're still waiting for the phone call, right, Dick? I'm not waiting for the phone call Dick. either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've had all sorts of people that want to come visit me, but uh, it is not something that... Uh, it was one of the better lines. Great. Okay. One of okay. the friendly sons of Bacchus of Georgetown. Yes. 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dick. Okay. Over and out St. Petersburg. Okay. No, Sarasota. Dick. Sarasota. Yes. Yes. St. Petersburg. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Chorba, Tim, I've got to congratulate you. This was a heck of a party. You set it up. Uh, you're Thank the you, classmate who, who really uh, has really worked hard for Bill. Uh, All his classmates worked hard for Bill. All of them did. They, All the ones who were here tonight worked hard for Bill. Right. And it was fun. It what was you, a lot of fun. What do, you, what do you see in the next four years uh, for the country? I see, I see for the country uh, a far, uh, an upsurge in Republicans for Clinton. And that's going to be led by Kerry Kirshner out of Florida. <laughs> that's what I see for the country. Great, Tim. I, okay. s I see across the board, I see Democrats, Republicans, independents coming together behind Bill Clinton as he sets the country on a new course, uh, a course led by a, a generation. As John Kennedy said t today, the torch of leadership passes to a new generation. That has happened 32 years later, 33 years, 32 years later, that's happened again. Torch of leadership has passed to, to a new generation. You see a dynamic, uh, dynamic change in the country, evolution, motion forward to solve the nation's problems and give our children a better world in which to live. Okay, Tim, and I certainly look forward to you being in the Clinton administration in some capacity. That's, that remains to be seen, Kerry. Okay. I, I'm grateful just to be an American tonight. Great, Tim. Thank Thanks you, so Kerry. much. Thanks, Thanks for a great party, too. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Kerry. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Okay.